Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Judy. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day today. It's in here in Arkansas. It's going to be in the 60s. The sun's shining. There's a little bit of a breeze. It's, it's really pretty out. And uh, I put the dogs out so they could play. And uh, so I can make my video. But today I'm making another pecan uh, recipe. I Two videos ago I did a ginger spice pecan with some ginger syrup. But today it's going to be uh, just a cinnamon sugar pecan. Which... It's kind of like the ones, well, it is like the ones that you buy when you go like the fair or something. They sell them in the bags and they're just, they're just so addictive and delicious. And so I thought I'd make some for Christmas for us to snack on and when we have company come over. So, but the first thing we're going to do is in the zip, Ziploc bag, I have put two tablespoons of cinnamon, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt. And now I'm going to add a cup of regular sugar. So this is what we're going to shake the pecans in once we do the frothing with the egg whites and stuff. So we're just going to shake this up. Pretty simple. And if you wanted to, you could also add, if you wanted this to be a more of a spicy, you could add uh, cayenne pepper to this if you wanted to. So I may try that in the next batch. But, okay, we're going to set that aside. And now we're going to get my bowl here. And to my bowl, we're going to add one egg white, and I use large, uh, a large egg, large egg white. And then we're going to add vanilla. So two teaspoons, I'm just going to eyeball it, two teaspoons of vanilla, and I use pure vanilla. Get my hands off here. And then two teaspoons of water. I use filtered water, since we have well water here. And then we're just going to, I'm going to use my uh, hand mixer. You don't have to, you can use a whisk. But I thought I would just use this because it would be a little bit faster. And we're going to whip this until it's frothy. I guess I could have used a smaller bowl, but that's okay. I like this one because it's kind of low. So I'm going to, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to keep whipping this. And I'll bring you back when it's nice and frothy. Okay, there we go. Nice and frosty. Alright. Let's turn that off. Set this aside. Now we're going to take our pecans. I have uh, about, about three cups of pecans. That's what it calls for for one batch in this recipe. We're going to coat these. All this mixture. And I've got my ovens preheated to 250 degrees. Oh, it's just about preheated. It should be ready here shortly. I think that about covers them all. And now we're going to spoon them into our bag of cinnamon and sugar. Put this here. Let's get something to scoop them out with. I think I can use this big. I'm just going to put them all in the bag. These are going to be so good. I'm going to have to make several batches of these. This also makes a nice little uh, gift to put in a Christmas basket. A nice pretty little Christmas bag. Okay, I'm going to have to use my spatula to get these last ones out of here. Because they're not wanting to go in this big old spoon. Okay. A few more. Drop them out of there. Okay. All right. Well, let me set this aside. I'm gonna kind of close this up a little bit. Get some of the air out. Oh, and I'm just gonna shake them up. Coat them really, really good. And I've got parchment paper on my cookie sheets. I'm gonna make sure these are all covered. So it's going to be so good. Yeah, one batch doesn't make very much, does it? All right. Okay. Let me get my cookie sheet. There we go. It's lined. Let's put it this way. There we go. I'm going to scoot you back just a bit. Okay. All right. I think they're pretty well coated. I 
think I think one batch will fit on the cookie sheet. Let's see here. Oh, look at those. They're going to be so pretty. Okay. Spread them out as much as you can without knocking all the sugar off. And then we're going to bake them for one hour for 15 minutes. And you want to stir them. I'll have to stir them uh, occasionally. Or no, stirring every 15 minutes. Okay. Stirring every 15 minutes. The recipe doesn't say. Okay. You don't want to burn them, so just keep your eye on them. The recipe does not say for how long to bake them for. That's lovely. Okay, well that's fine. So every 15 minutes I'm going to stir them and then I will bring you back and I'll let you know exactly how long that they baked. Okay, you have to bake it for one hour stirring every 15 minutes. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I ended up doing two batches. Uh, one batch I did the cinnamon and sugar, and then another batch I added some of this uh, cocoa blend chili, which is like a chipotle uh, spice, and oh my gosh, it's so good, but you don't have to do that. So I'm going to do a little taste test. This is the original with the, just the cinnamon and the sugar. Mm, yep, just like I remember. Going to the fair. We have a thing here in Arkansas in Conway called the Toad Sack uh, Festival. Mmm, it's so good. Okay. Now this is the one with, it's a little bit darker too. I don't know if you can tell the difference. The one that has the Chipotle spice is a little darker. Mmm, oh yeah, that's really good. Wow. It's not hot. It's just enough. I put like I think I put a teaspoon in there. Yeah, a teaspoon of this. So maybe next time I might add a little bit more if you want it spicier. But you can use cayenne pepper or you can just do the original recipe with the, the cinnamon and sugar. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.